So last week we looked at some experiments with sorting algorithms with insertion sort, selection sort and merge sort to find out how they actually behaved on different types of large inputs to understand whether they were uniform across different things or they were better on in ascending or descending. So let us do the same now with quick sort. Right? So we begin with this timer class which will allow us to time the execution and get an idea of how things happen in, on large inputs. And uh, quick sort is fundamentally a recursive implementation, the one that we have given in the class. So we are going to use that and that is going to create problems with this uh, built in small recursion limit. So we will as we did for insertion sort in the recursive case, we will increase the recursion, li recursion limit to the maximum allowed which is 2 to the power 31 minus 1. So now this is our quick sort algorithm that we give in class. So what we do is we sort from a lower limit to an upper limit right? and we choose the first element of the list as the pivot and then we go from left to right and we partition the pivot into this lower, the remaining things lower and upper and then we move the pivot to the middle and then we recursively sort the two parts. Right? So eventually we come down here and we recursively sort two parts and then we return L. So one of the things that uh, we want to check is of course this is correct. So let us take uh, some uh, sort of random array and just sort it and uh, validate that both, so this technically is sorting in place but it is also returning the sorted list. So you can see that if I kind of take this Q list and sort it and get, return it as Q new, both Q new and Q list are the same. Right? So it is basically a in place sort that we have implemented because we are doing all these exchanges which will actually happen inside the list. Now the thing that we want to see is how this behaves on large inputs. So one of the things we argued about quick sort is that typically it behaves well. So what this means is that hopefully if we create a random array it is going to behave fast. But because of the nature of the pivot when I have extreme values at the 0th element either the largest or the smallest it is going to break up these things unequally into an empty list and a list of size n minus 1. So I am going to get this n squared behavior like insertion sort and selection sort. Right? So let us compare this performance of quick sort with say merge sort. So merge sort remember will take uh, good time on any input, it does not have this problem of ascending and descending but let us in particular look at this random behavior and see which is better. So this is our last time the implementation of merge sort. So here we are now doing the same thing, we are creating a random input of size 10 to the 6, exactly the same size as we had for quick sort and for the ascending and descending for merge sort it does not matter, we can actually have it of the same size because it is not going to blow up like the quick sort worst case. So if I run this now on merge sort the same 10 to the power 6 which took 7 seconds in quick sort is actually going to take a little longer in merge sort. So this actually shows that though they are both similar algorithms in terms of divide and conquer, we said that quick sort has a worst case time of n squared uh, and we have best, uh, average case of n log n and merge sort is a worst case of n log n. So you can see that when we have large lists we always get something between 0 and 10 seconds but it is interesting that merge sort on this random array takes actually about 50 percent more time almost than quick sort on the random array. So this is what we meant by saying that although quick sort does not have a very attractive worst case time, it seems to be a very effective algorithm and it is one that is often used in practice. Right? So that is why we typically see quick sort being taught and used even though it theoretically looks like insertion sort and selection sort and having an n squared worst time. 